So welcome to Cigars and Cars. Unfortunately, we don't have cigars today, and we're not working on a car. This is my old, reliable, rusty, trusty, leaky F-250. And uh, I know it's a boring little oil change, but there's some fun 7-3 facts that can be thrown in here. Normally, this truck takes a, you look up the spec sheet online, it's a 15 quart oil change. When I do them, it's a 17 quart oil change, and not because I'm that bad at it, it's because if you look, this is our replacement oil filter. This is a Donaldson DBL 7405. The factory motorcraft filter, this FL 1995 that I have up here right now for now, has a 18 micron filter rating and it holds two quarts. The DBL 7405 from Donaldson is actually a cat filter and it holds an extra two quarts of oil and it has a 15 micron filter rating. So you actually get to keep your oil a little bit cleaner, a little bit longer, and uh, as long as your oil tests out okay, have a little bit longer oil service life. The oil in these trucks is run by a, uh, or not the oil, my bad. The injectors on these old 7.3s is actually fun operated by your oil. So oil care is crucial in these old 7.3s to keep them running properly. You see, this whole section is covered in oil. This is the Ford anti-rusting um, kit. This kicks in somewhere around 70 or 80,000 miles. Uh, this truck has... 273,000 miles. I have a, uh, see, I have a couple of modifications done to it, but most of them are very, very mild. The engine's mostly stock, six position chip, four in, or three inch down pipe, four inch exhaust, and a uh, 6637 fil uh, air filter. Um, I did usually keep the Donaldson filter on there. I was a little bit late and uh, didn't have one ordered in time. I decided to just change oil anyway, last time on it. Um, I've upgraded the front 19 gallon tank to a 28 gallon tank. My rear 19 gallon tank has been upgraded to a 38 gallon tank. So I can go about 700 to a thousand miles between fuel stops. These tires I've upgraded to 19.5. I don't know if you can see them very well. I've upgraded to 19.5 wheels and tires. Um, I got about 45,000 miles on these tires. Um, we're not down to the wear bars, but it is worn enough that my snow traction is underwhelming at best. So I'll probably end up replacing those in the not too distant future. The wear like iron, when I overload the truck, that we never do. Um, when hauling horses, or when I used to haul horses, it would tow excellent. Where before, under factory spec tires, it would uh, sway back and forth all over the place. A little bit unnerving, but I guess that's why most people go the dually route, or if you don't want to go the dually route, you can go the 19.5s. And this is your Lucas Pure Synthetic Oil Stabilizer. You don't have to do this. It just does adds up nicely. So I run Rotella T6 540. This is not a plug for them, but they do make some nice products. And on the 7.3s, in the wintertime especially, getting your oil to be able to pump up is crucial to getting your truck to start in the cold. You got good glow plugs, good batteries, and a uh, good oil, and you shouldn't have any problems at all with your truck starting, even when it's in the single digits. Um, the five weight pours like water, when it's cold and still holds up to the heat cycles when warm. Nice part about Rotella, it has the highest zinc content of any oil that you can get on the market. We'll wait for that to spill over. That's what I do best. So with any oil change, your goal is to make as big of a mess as possible. Um, I happen to have a pan here, and I caught most of the oil that came out of the drain plug. 
but you'll see here in a second, as soon as you take off the filter, it's going to go all over the place and I will get a oil shower. And here comes the mess. It's not an oil change unless you get it all over you. Um, you can see it. Here's a comparison between the two oil filters. Now this Donaldson filter will just barely, barely fit in there. There it is. Holds an extra two quarts of oil. You're hugging it almost right up against the oil pan when you put this in. Some of these trucks, the sway bar, depending on which year, make and model um, seven you have in your or for your seven three. Um, there's a sway bar for this front axle that won't clear. As you can see, barely fits on there. Oh, I'm swimming in oil. But it is worth it. Another nice thing about 17 quart oil change. And you use the one bottle of Lucas, you cut the bottom off, and you have yourself a nice disposable funnel. The math just kind of works out nice, although you don't end up with much for spares for oil. That'll stay.
Or you could just wait till your truck gets really bad and go on the perpetual oil change program and just change the filter out from time to time and wait for the old oil to leak out and then add more as you go. There's a third. But 1995, 273,000 miles. I go out in the driveway. It fires up pretty well every time I ask it to. I can hop in it, take it across country without much worry. And uh, fuel mileage for a truck at least is halfway decent. And the AC works great. I almost dare to say better than the uh, 2019 F550 that I have to drive for now for work. Never hurts to double check your drain plug because I do stupid crap like that where I get done dumping in all my oil and hop underneath it and all my brand new oil has been dumped out all over the floor underneath the truck. Don't get it twisted. I am looker than I don't. See how thin that is? Just freaking pours like water for being a 40 weight diesel rated oil, but that's why you get 540. And that's why that's why it starts so much better in the winter time with 540 versus 1540. It just pumps up for the engine so much easier. Gives you a lot less wear and tear. It is a lot more expensive, but you get more mileage out of it per oil change. Stay tuned because later on we're doing a video on uh, H pop removal. I already saw my T500 H pop. We're doing a video on uh, likely a turbo upgrade. Um, at some point, this truck's going to get a, uh, a T66. It's going to get uh, 160 30 injectors and a T500 uh, uh, high pressure oil pump. Probably do a fuel bowl delete, e fuel. That's probably as crazy as this truck's gonna get. Uh, I really like how reliable it is, and I'd like to keep it that reliable. 